Today I have another requested video and this is Digging the Dancing Queen and Feathered Hair Out to There. I've started off with Nail Ticks Formula 2 and Pretty Serious Presence, two coats of that. Mine's not the one coater. And I've got these Beauty Big Bang um, nail things I'm going to try to use. The aprons, nail wraps, whatever you want to call them. And I'm actually getting pretty lucky with this one here on, a on camera. Surprise, surprise. Um, these are a little tricky, but they're really cool when you can get them on there right. They, I mean, you don't have no cleanup. Love that aspect. And here we go. I'm going to do this gradient with these two polishes from Color Club. And this one's Feathered Hair Out to There, and the other one is Digging the Dancing Queen, the purple one. And I really expected, since I was doing these over white, that the colors would really pop, but they really needed a lot of building up and it's very possible I should have kept on building this gradient up but you know after a while you just get tired of doing it and you just want to move on to the next step so I have sped this up quite a bit I am not this fast I'm, I'm pretty quick but I'm not this fast but I figured since this had you know gradient stamping and you know all sorts of stuff in it that I would just go ahead and speed this mundane Tap, 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 tap. I just speed it up a little bit. I do really love these polishes. I just, you know, sometimes you see things in your head and you think, wow, that just looks so pretty. But for me, these just didn't build up enough. And, um, you know, it's a very pretty gradient. But it, after the stamping, the gradient just kind of disappears. And, uh, you know, you guys know I go a little too far quite often. But I really, really do like these color clubs. Um, Gina had asked me to do, you know, videos or do some videos using this, these polishes from this collection. And so I grabbed them up and you guys are going to get to see probably several videos from this collection. It's an older collection, but, you know, and I don't even know how I missed it. I don't think it's that I missed it. I just thought, eh, I got something like that in my collection. And I'm going to recommend that if you do have colors like this in your collection, use them. Don't run out and buy something just because, I mean, there's a ton of baby pinks and baby purples out there. So, you know, just, just use what you have. But these are really good polishes. And if you don't already have these colors, they have great formulas. And I was really impressed with that aspect of them. Now I'm going in with just pink up on the top because I'm just trying to get that pink to pop a little bit more back by the cuticle. And here we go with the, you know, removal of the nail aprons. And I'm going to put some northern lights on this one. Because, you know, I just need a little bit of bling, a little jazz, a little shiny. And you can't see it on camera. I am so sorry. But in real life, I could see it. This is AliExpress, AliExpress acrylic plates. And I'm going to be stamping with these Kiss Gel Strong polishes. I've got this hot pink one that I'm going to stamp with first. It's gorgeous. I am so happy I tried these for stamping. I want you guys to see this. For me, this was phenomenal. Love it. Look. Bright in, bright in your face hot pink. I did not expect that. I'm just here to tell you. Especially since it's got like those glitters or flecks in them. Oh. You guys know I was so impressed. But look at that. It's just mind-blowing for me. And these are at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Yeah. We want more of that. So I'm putting the butterfly image on my thumb, my ring finger, and my middle finger. And then I'm going to be using this other Kiss Gel Strong Polish. And I, I get to see the name of this one, Necessity. And it stamps like a dream, too. You guys are fixing to be just surprised. I mean, I was. Look at that. Perfect. I just love them. I'm going to be, I'm telling you, I'm going to be hitting up all the Dollar Trees trying to find more of these polishes. There we go. we got to get some of that extra up with the tape. And I'm trying to be good right here. I'm trying to like just put that one little swoop, but no, 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 no. We can't leave it alone. We got to, we got to do some more. Let's do some more stamping. <laughs> You guys know I go overboard. I've been trying to do accent nails, so, you know, this was my, you know, relapse. I'm just, you know, I'm just so impressed with how great these are stamping that I just want to keep playing. 
I don't want to stop. I don't want to get out of the sandbox. It's not time for lunch. I want to play. So I do. I just keep playing because it's nail polish and I can. So last stamp. We're running out of places to put stuff. But look at that. That just did so good. Now see the gradient disappears totally. I mean you can't even see that no more. But the stamping turned out really good. So that's what I had to look at. And that purple. <laughs> it's just a really good great purple. And it didn't smear when I put the top coat on it. I was really happy about that too. So there we go. And here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.